Welcome back to my channel. My name is Irene. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. In this video, I'm just going to be doing my makeup and talking to you guys. You know, a little video for all time's sake. I feel like I haven't sat down to do my makeup and also speak on camera in a very long time because ish, we'll get into that later. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, let me stop talking and let's get into the video. I haven't even set up my stuff guys i haven't filmed for youtube in so long i feel like i should move my chair a little bit forward but i don't know what's going to happen anyways i hope this is okay um i haven't filmed for youtube in a very long time breezy does not have a reason for not filming for youtube i've just been i don't know youtube is a lot of work they don't lie when they say consistency is key because I really haven't been consistent and it shows. My face is so oily. But yeah, that's basically the explanation. I generally don't have a very good reason as to why I haven't been filming. It's actually quite bad. But anyways, um, this ring light has saved my life because if you guys saw how dark it was outside, before I used to film in complete natural lighting because um, my ring light was like one of those small ones and I got a bigger one and it's just saved my life like I even film my Instagram tutorials sometimes at night like late at night because the lighting is <laughs> anyways I hope you guys have been okay I've been fine I've been literally doing nothing like I've even been slacking on my um my Instagram page because i don't know i feel like um at the beginning of the year and towards the end of um 2021 I, I was just doing a lot i was doing a lot because i also started doing um clients so every time i'd do a client i'd be like tired i wouldn't be able to um film a video then also i'd um started the lash line lashed by irene i'll put it up the little logo here i started lashed by irene and that alone took so much time and energy like energy physical energy and also like mental energy because you had to think about like you know being creative and all of that stuff so yeah and towards the end of the year big and beginning of the year i was trying to reach 2k um followers on instagram so i had to be like consistent 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 just so that i could reach that goal because initially i wanted to reach it before the end of the year of 2021 but i reached it in january so yeah i was just tired from all of that and i was like you know what i think i deserve a break so i generally took the whole of february off because then first of february i traveled i went to south africa if you haven't watched my content from there i don't know what you're doing i'm gonna link it in the description box and you better go watch it or i'll put it up on those card thingies you know wherever it's gonna pop up um so that you guys can watch it but yeah i traveled literally for just over two weeks and then i came back and i was like okay now where do i start because I was in full holiday mode. But I need to get back to, you know, basics. I need to get my money up, <laughs> as I would say with my dear friend Suzanne. I need to be in my bag. So here I am in my bag. I know I might look crazy, but it's okay. We'll get there. You know how we do. So I'm quickly just concealing my eyebrows with a very light concealer shade because i don't want to grab um the other one because it's basically finished i'm having a bit of a, a crisis i'm slowly running out of makeup like the makeup that i love and i can't find that makeup in zambia so um, i don't know what i'm gonna do child so i'm gonna just have to make a plan i'm concealing my brows with the Too faced born this way concealer in the shade cookie this is the shade that I use to like brighten my under eye. As you guys can tell, it's very, 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 very bright. But it's a very nice shade. You guys know how much I love Too Faced um, concealers. I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm just blending out the concealer on my eyes. 
okay and then i'm just setting my eyes with some powder this is a mixture of um huda beauty easy bake in the shade blondie and the maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade i think it's um number 20. Um, I find that the Huda Beauty one is doesn't give me the brightness that I like. Well, I don't like like a bright under eye because I generally don't believe, I don't know if I'm the only one, but the bright under eye thing for me works best for people with darker complexions. As light skins, I don't know what it is, but like it just makes you look like a ghost unless you do it, you know, properly. If you mix it and it's like, you know, not a very light shade, but it's not a dark shade either, if that makes sense. But yeah, I find the Huda Beauty one is too dark for my liking. And then the Maybelline one is too light for my liking. So I just mix them and then it comes up with this perfect combo it comes up with the most perfect combo guys and then after i figured that out i figured it out by myself i didn't even see it anyway i saw that tammy clark does the same thing and i was like look at you thinking like big big makeup gurus but <laughs> anyways so i'm just creating a base basically for the eyeshadow that we're going to do i don't even know what eyeshadow we're gonna be doing today but you know what let's just wing it and try what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna take this um two face concealer that is literally nearing the end of its life and i'm just going to like spot conceal the dark spots on my face um yeah my skin yeah go and then here i burnt myself with a curling iron while i was curling my hair there's just a lot going on on my face right now and i don't need it I'm just gonna let that sit on my face so that I can build the coverage. So I'm gonna be using this palette, the Chaudol Au Natural palette. It's literally got these beautiful, beautiful shades. I actually did um, the launch shoot for Chaudol and this palette. I'll insert some of the BTS um, clips if I can find them. It was really fun and I really, 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 really loved this palette, especially the pigment that it was giving. I think I'm gonna do a natural look since this palette is all natural. I'm gonna do a very natural look, but like it's still gonna be very, you know, glam and all of that. And yeah, this shoot was very fun. It was actually my first like photo shoot with a brand and I'm so glad it was a Zambian brand and especially a Zambian brand that I really like. I'm gonna go in first with the shade Sugar Plum and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. I'm basically just going to, um, I'm basically just going to put this shade in my crease. Like I did the shoot for them, but I didn't get the palette. Um, I was planning on getting it for myself actually, but then my friends got it for me for my birthday. So I was like, oh, that's cute. Also it was recently my birthday, 22nd of February. I turned 22 on the 22nd of the second month of 2022. How crazy is that? It was a very cute birthday. The theme was purple. I should have actually like vlogged that, but like I didn't really do anything too crazy to vlog the shade that i'm using now to just um blend out the outer corners of the shade that i just put in my crease is the shade pouty I'm using it to diffuse the edges and to create a seamless blend <laughs> child this makeup lingo mm -mm. can't come and kill myself then i'm gonna take this morphe m506 brush and i'm going to dip into the shade kiss and tell which is a dark brown just to deepen the outer corners of my eyes a little bit i just checked my phone to see if it was filming and it wasn't on the video thing so i don't know whether it's just bugging because you know of the heat but <laughs> Anyways, first things first, I'm going to blend out these concealer um, spots that I did on my face and just hope that they've covered up a good amount of um, the marks on my face. Guys, I'm really excited to like film for YouTube. If you guys have any ideas, please feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what content you actually want to see. So I'm taking my Too Faced concealer in the shade Cookie. And I'm just placing it in my inner corners 
down the bridge of my nose because it's a very bright concealer and I don't really like a very bright under eye. And then I'm taking my butterscotch, or what is remained of my butterscotch, and I'm putting that on the outer corners just to like balance out um, the bright shade. My, you know, old faithful black opal foundation stick in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I'm going to blend out this part first and my cheekbone contour out first and then I'm going to add my Huda Beauty Glowish Multi Dew Skin Tint in the shade Extra Tan number 9 just to like cover up this area that I didn't put any product on because I don't want to leave it bare. But yeah, I'm going to fast forward this part so you guys can just enjoy the music and watch and learn. <laughs> my contour um blended out i'm not going to blend out the concealer on my face um oh my gosh guys i forgot to mention or ask rather who of you are watching the wife on show max please leave a comment down below if you're watching the wife and if you're on um season two if you're caught up also let me know what you think of the last three episodes that they just released i think it was seven eight and nine so boring in my opinion i really only started watching the wife because mbasa was watching it while i was in cape town like i didn't even start it from episode one i started from like episode what 35 there's like 40 something episodes in the first season she just caught me up and told me like what had happened who's who in the zoo and all of that but like it's very easy to understand also real housewives of durban can, can we talk about Real Housewives of Durban? I thought Real Housewives of Joburg was amazing, but Real Housewives of Durban? No, you guys need to get into it. I really miss Ayanda. I don't know why. Oh, I understand why she didn't come back um, for the second season, but like, I don't know, her energy was just unmatched and you can really feel her absence in the season, if that makes sense, if you've been watching from um, the first season. I think my favorite um, ladies are my sorry, sorry, Sorisha. <laughs> Londi, love her. Her body, her body is bodying. Her body bodies like no other body has bodied. Like <laughs> her body is amazing. Um, Nonku just annoys me sometimes um like i know she's i don't know whether it's just like for tv or whatever it is but like her character just annoys me sometimes i really feel like um so many things are like popping up in my mind sorry if it feels like i'm saying too many things at once but i really feel like my makeup has changed in a good way ever since i started um mixing my powders i literally mixed them into this like container just to like test it out because i don't want to mix all of it and not like it and guys when i tell you it's a game changer like believe me like look at the effect that it's giving my under eye it's literally perfect it's so perfect also guys speaking about makeup Mihali is in town she's a special guest um, at Abby's Makeovers um, Masterclass that's happening tomorrow. These really should be things that like I attend, but I didn't think I was ready to part ways <laughs> with the money for the ticket. <laughs> I feel like I could teach myself, even though it would be a good opportunity for me to like go and meet people and network and you know all of that stuff. But I mean, there's always other masterclasses that will happen that could benefit me in the same way that this one won also what they're teaching i could learn by myself but yeah i kind of have fomo now because i've seen that the the tickets are sold out so i kind of have fomo and wish that i was going but anyway it's okay also with michali everywhere that she goes she makes it look so nice and for someone that's from zambia and seeing it through her eyes is very different it's very 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 different but it's a good different i guess 
I'm trying to like rush this. I don't know why I'm rushing because I'm not going anywhere. But it looks good for someone that's rushing their makeup. Chill. It looks so good. For bronzer, I am using Take A Wild Guess. Pause this video, comment down below and let me know what bronzer I'm going to be using. You can just look. <laughs> you can look and guess while I apply the bronzer. So the bronzer that I was using was this one. It's the Morphe Glam Bronze Face and Body Bronzer in the shade Trail Blazer. Amazing. Chef's kiss. I'm gonna add some eyeliner to the bottom of my eyelids. Don't even ask me where I got this eyeliner from. You guys would scream. <laughs> you guys would actually scream if I told you where I got this eyeliner from. But I needed one urgently and it does the job because look, look at my waterline. It's dark as hell. I don't go anywhere without my beauty spots. Like they've become part of me. I basically just add them where those scars that I was covering are. Lashes done. Guys, this look is so cute. I'm obsessed. I'm going to put on my lashes and do my lips off camera because I don't want the video to be too long. And then I'll come back and show you guys the final look. So I'll be right back. I went ahead and added some curls to the hair just to give it a little bit of body. The hair details as well as the lip combo details will be down in the description box. So make sure that you have a read and watch the video. It was too loud for me to film a proper outro. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video.